Tetsuya Nomura is the biggest name among the Square Enix artists. He was the character artist of five main Final Fantasy titles, and of course the OG of the Kingdom Hearts series. His art career began in the early 90s, at the age of 22, as a monster designer for Final Fantasy V and VI. To express his own passion for design, he recreated some of Yoshitaka Amano's characters, and was the mind that fleshed out Shadow and Setzer. As his colleagues were impressed, he got the main stage for Final Fantasy VII. Here, it was clear that he embraced the manga style that was common for his time. His line art was based on angular strokes, especially seen in the nose, hair and chin, which gives the characters sharp expressions. The Final Fantasy fighting game, Air Guys, was also under his wing, where he used thick line art combined with a highly saturated pastel color scheme. Brave Fancy Musashi was on his plate as well, which reminds me of one of Cloud's original concept sketches. While the trust in Nomura grew, he got his hands on Parasite Eve, where he basically maintained his art style similar to Final Fantasy VII. Although his line in Final Fantasy VIII didn't change that much, the design and coloring style did. He started to use a more light toned color palette for his works. He stated that this was his actual style of drawing, but added more facial features suggested by the art director. Around 98, he was responsible for Parasite Eve 2 and the Bowser. In Final Fantasy X, his art changed using softer lines and edges with again realistic face proportions. Kingdom Hearts pretty much spearheaded this art style into making more expressive characters, with rounded chins and softer features. Overall, the mouth, nose and eyes became more defined. Notable projects around 05 were Final Fantasy Advent Children, Dirge of Cerberus and of course Kingdom Hearts 2. Here his fetish for belts manifested. I find that his Crisis Core art is a perfect reference that he transitioned into a different overall style. Because it looks like Kingdom Hearts to me. This aside, all the projects like The World Ends With You contain a more vibrant cartoony art style. In 2008 he made his works for Dissidia. And personally I really like that he referred back into some of his old school manga roots. With sharper expressions, stronger jawlines, characters that should have died. And gloomy characters with a burden on their mind. Because Final Fantasy XIII was a step up in the graphic design, Nomura could even add more details and bells to his characters than ever before. In 2010 he fared between the different roles such as art director, producer and illustrator on all the spin-off games of Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts series. Nonetheless, his dedication for Square Enix kept Rock solid, as he was assigned to be the main character designer of Final Fantasy XV, which came out in 2016. In this installment, he reused his Final Fantasy vs. XIII main character, Noctis, as a base to flesh out the rest. Personally, I like this initial sketch the most, as Noctis seems to be more of a badass than an angry kid. Furthermore, he even did some character art of Xenoblade Chronicles 2 from Mona Lift Soft. Up to 2022, he worked on a lot of Kingdom Hearts games, with of course the big title being Kingdom Hearts 3. In parallel, he worked on many Final Fantasy titles, such as the digital card game, Final Fantasy VII Remake, and Ever Crisis. Although Nomura explored multiple art styles over the years, the big titles are the ones that made him distinct. So let's use the most well-known Final Fantasy character as a reference for his evolving art style during the years from 1997 to 2021. And here's a lineup of his famous Kingdom Hearts illustrations, made in 02, 05 and 19. I'm fancy light novel author GP Fuchs. And although I do understand why some people dislike his art style and character design, I think he has an eye for creating attractive characters people can relate to in any way or form. Want more of Nomura? I got you covered.